What's up, Believe Nation? It's Evan. My one word is believe, and I believe in you. I believe you have Elon Musk level talent at something, and I want you to find it, embrace it, and use it to make a difference in the world. And so, to help you on your journey today, we're going to look at Elon Musk and his views on the danger of artificial intelligence and alien life forms. Enjoy. A lot of experts in AI don't share the same level of concern that you do about the dangers huh. of AI. Fools. <laughs> What, what Famous specific, last words. What, speci what specifically do you believe that they don't? Um, well, the biggest issue I see with so-called AI experts is that they, they think they know more than they do. Um, and they think they're smarter than they actually are. Um, in general, we are all much smarter than we think we are. But much less smart, dumber than we think we are. Um, by a lot. So, this, is, this tends to plague, plague smart people. Um, they just can't, they, they define themselves by their intelligence and they, they don't like the idea that a machine could be way smarter than them, so they discount the idea, which is fundamentally flawed. That's the wishful thinking uh, situation. Um, I'm really quite close to, or I'm very close to the, to the cutting edge in AI and it scares the hell out of me. Um, it's capable of vastly more than almost anyone knows. And the rate of improvement is exponential. Um, you can see this in things like AlphaGo, which went from, in the span of maybe six to nine months, it went from being unable to beat even a reasonably good Go player to then beating the European world champion who was ranked 600, then beating Lisa Dole, 4-5. Who had been world champion for many years, then beating the current world champion, then beating everyone while playing simultaneously. Then, uh, then there was Alpha Zero, uh, which crushed Alpha Go 100 to zero. <laughs> and Alpha Zero just learned by playing itself, and it, it can play basically any game that you put the rules in for. If you, whatever rules you give it, it can literally read the rules, play the game, and be superhuman for any game. Um, Nobody expected that rate of improvement. If you ask those, so, those same experts uh, who think AI is not progressing at the rate that I'm saying, I think you will find that their predictions for things like Go and, and other, and, and other uh, AI advancements, have uh, their, their batting average is quite weak. It's not good. Um, the, the, we'll see this also with, uh, with self-driving. Uh, I think probably by End of next year, self-driving will be will encompass essentially all modes of driving and be at least 100 to 200 um, percent safer than a person by the end of next year. We're talking like maybe 18 months from now. Um, uh, NHTSA did a study on on Tesla's autopilot version one, which is relatively primitive, and found that it was a 45 percent reduction in highway accidents. And that's despite Autopilot 1 being just version 1. Um, version 2, I think, will be at least two or three times better. That's the current version that's running right now. Um, so the, the rate of improvement is really dramatic. Uh, we have to figure out some way to ensure that the advent of digital superintelligence is one which is symbiotic with humanity. I think that's the single biggest existential crisis that we face, and the, and the most pressing one. And how do we do that? I mean, if, if we take it that it's inevitable at this point, that some version of AI is coming down the line, how do we, how do we steer through that? Well, I, I'm not normally an advocate of regulation and oversight. I mean, I think it, once you generally are on the side of minimizing those things. But this is a case where you have a very serious danger to the public. And so therefore, there needs to be a public body that um, has insight and then oversight on to confirm that everyone is uh, developing AI safely. Um, this is extremely important. Um, I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. Um, and nobody would suggest that we allow anyone to just build nuclear warheads if they want. That, that would be insane. And mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. 
far. So why do we have no regulatory oversight? This is insane. What's a question you've been asking for a long time, I think it's a question that's come to the forefront over the last year, where you begin to realize that it doesn't necessarily, I think if we've, we've all been focused in on the idea of artificial superintelligence, right? Which is clearly a danger, but maybe, you know, a little further out. Um, what's happened over the last year is you've seen artificial, what I've been calling artificial stupidity. You talk about, you know, algorithmic manipulation of social media, like we're, we're in it now. It's starting, it's starting to happen. How do we, how do we, is it, What's the intervention at this point? Um, to be honest, I'm not really all that worried about the short-term stuff. Things that are... Um, not, like, narrow AI is not a species-level risk. Um, it, 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 will, it will result in dislocation, uh, in lost jobs, and, um, it, you know, the, the sort of better weaponry and that kind of thing but it is not a fundamental species level risk, uh, whereas uh, digital superintelligence is. Uh, so it's really all about laying the groundwork to make sure that if, if humanity collectively decides that creating digital superintelligence is the right move, then we should do so very, very carefully. Um, very, very carefully. Um, this is the most important thing that we could possibly do. You know, I think one of the most troubling questions is artificial intelligence. And I don't, I don't mean narrow AI, like uh, vehicle autonomy I would put in the narrow AI class. Um, it's narrowly trying to achieve a certain function. Um, but deep artificial intelligence, or what is sometimes called artificial general intelligence, um, where you could have AI that is much, sm much smarter than the smartest human on Earth. This, I think, uh, is a dangerous situation. Why it is dangerous? I mean, there is two views. One view is the artificial intelligence will help humanity. There is another school of, think of thought is artificial intelligence is a threat to hum humanity. Why is it? Well, I think it's both. You know, um, it's, it's like, one way to think of it is imagine we're going to be visited, you, you, imagine you're very confident that we were going to be visited by super intelligent aliens um, in, let's say, 10 years or 20 years at the most. Super intelligent. So you think within 20 years yeah, so we'll have alien and Earth? <laughs> well, digital super intelligence will be like an alien. It will be like an alien. Yeah. But, but my question is, do you think there is other intelligent life outside the Earth? It seems probable, but I think this is, this is one of the great questions in physics and philosophy, uh, is uh, where are the aliens? Maybe they're among us, I don't know. Uh, some people think I'm an alien. <laughs> Not true. Not true. But <laughs> maybe we are alien. Of course I'd say maybe that. Maybe we I? are alien, Ellen. I mean, if you look at this part of the world, yeah. they believe that human beings are not from Earth. They came from somewhere else. Eve maybe. and Adam came from somewhere else to Earth. So in a way, human being alien to this mm -hmm. land. Do you think we'll make contact with alien within the, the next 50 years? Well, that's a really tough one to say. Um, I mean, if, if there are super intelligent aliens out there, they're probably already observing us. That would seem quite likely. And we just um, are not smart enough to realize it. Um, but I can do some, some back of the envelope calculations and um, any advanced alien civilization that, ha that was at all interested in populating the galaxy, um, even without, uh, without exceeding the speed of light, even if you're only moving at, say, 10 or 20 percent of the speed of light, um, you could uh, populate the entire galaxy in, let's say, 10 million years, maybe 20 million years max. 
this is nothing, you know, in the grand scheme of things. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This is a new test series that we're putting together on trending topics from successful entrepreneurs. I'd love to know, what did you think? Should we continue the series? Do you have other ideas that you'd love to see? Put it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I believe in you. I hope you continue to believe in yourself and whatever your one word is. Much love. I'll see you soon. If you tell yourself a story long enough, you start to believe it. Once you believe it, you act like it. I have tussled with a whale out of handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. Now you know I'm bad. Only last week I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean I make medicine sick. <laughs> the fundamental key to success is it can take between 18 and 254 days of taking action for a new habit to stick. I've created a new course called 254 Confidence where every single day for 254 days, I will be sending you a video between 30 seconds and five minutes long that you start your morning with around making you feel confident. It's absolutely free. Check out the link in the description below to get access.